Uh, hi guys, uh, in part 3 of um, the video series that I made for IPv6 configuration on uh, PFSense with Tech Savvy, I had uh, modified uh, um, the assisted setting in PFSense so that when you choose assisted and hit save, um, the configuration file um, by default was this. Yeah, the flag was on for the managed flag in assisted and I had changed it and assisted the managed flag to be off. I posed this question on the PFSense forums if uh, this was a bug or um, if uh, this was by design and I had a response that said that this is by design. So um, if this was by design, now uh, my next question was if um, there is an option for stateless DHCP in PFSense. Um, still haven't received a reply for that, but it's too early. I just posted this. So I'll go ahead and add that option just for myself. And I will change uh, the assist and manage to back the way it was in, um, in the file that's called, I think, Services Inc. is the file that I modified. So I'll uh, load up um, this file. I'll change it back to its default and then I will actually change the behavior of um, the file uh, I think it's called this one services router uh, advertisements.php so that when you there will be a new drop down option called uh, stateless DHCP so let's get to that um, I'm gonna log in through my shell through SSH it's easier for me to edit files first file I'm going to edit is to uh, make it back to the defaults which was etc include and then services dot ink um, I'll, I, the line number I think was 130 so 130 shift G takes me to the line perfect and over here I need to delete this line delete this line delete this line and change this managed flag from off to on save exit and now it's uh, back to the way it's supposed to be let me just quickly double check yeah I just remove um, everything under managed that I had added and managed uh, where is it here right there and assist oh what happened there oh I think I just removed it oh, let's see if I can put it back in there yeah I can and assist uh, should let me just move this closer and managed flag should be on managed flag should be on okay so next step after that is I'm going to now modify let me move this back here. Now modify this file, service router advertisement, so that I get another drop down option called stateless DHCP. Um, the file that I need to modify for that uh, is inside USR, um, local ww and services underscore router advertisement. And I've already done this uh, once. Um, the line number for this is 107 so I'm going to type in 107 shift G it should take me directly to the lines that I need to add stuff to so see here assist assisted this is the last one and I'm going to add a comma here uh, hit enter tab 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 space and this is going to be stateless underscore DHCP space and it's going to show up in the menu as stateless DHCP um, I think that's all the modification that I need to make here escape right quit um, now let me refresh that page and see if that option is showing up and there stateless DHCP so if I choose it and I hit save should get an error message it won't hmm. 
didn't actually show up um, but I do know that if I go and now do a cat of the um, the RA DVD file it's, um, I don't remember the location RA DVD let's quickly find it var etc okay so cat war etc r a d v d and c there are quite a few options that are missing uh, that should not be missing so <laughs> i am going to quickly modify this um, um, well not modify add um, the stateless dhcp option to the file uh, services inc so that um, when I hit save and services inc runs it uh, runs uh, the the function called the function called services RA DVD configure it actually puts the appropriate uh, options in the RA DVD dot conf file so let's edit that file now so yeah it was uh, in etc inc services dot ink hmm. services dot ink okay there we go and this is on line number I think it was uh, 130 so I'll type in 130 shift G and there we go okay so now I have managed assist I just had changed these and I'm going to add another option here that is uh, going to be case uh, DHCP uh, underscore stateless I think that's what I had written in uh, on the other file so that's uh, shift um, I enter tab 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 case stateless underscore DHCP stateless underscore DHCP and let's add in basically this change it to off off change this to off off and next line I'll add this this remains the same and then a break and then add right underneath assist or above assist since managed assist and stateless DHCP all have the other options set to the same actually no not managed and assist only assist assist and stateless DHCP will have the other options that are the same only this managed flag will be different so um, router case assist right here so here I'll just add case stateless underscore DHCP uh, state uh, stateless underscore DHCP and now stateless underscore DHCP will have all these options added to it and I think that's about it uh, escape right quit and now if I go to um, over here choose stateless and type in and hit save it should um, create that file RA DVD file with the proper options and it did it yes right here manage flag off other config on uh, and autonomous on perfect so that's it now I'm gonna quickly um, run um, packet trace um, basically a packet capture and see uh, the difference in the options set in the router advertisement packet between um, between stateless DHCP 
and assisted. So let me just pull Wireshark up. I'll quickly pause, set up Wireshark. Give me two seconds. Alright, so I've set Wireshark up, stateless DHCP. I'm going to hit save again just in case. Get Wireshark up, refresh, start the capture again. And in, I'll wait for a router advertisement packet. Come on, there. So router advertisement. Now we're here in uh, stateless DHCP. I wanted managed address configuration as not set. Other configuration as set. And autonomous address configuration as set. So that uh, uh, my clients use stateless address auto configuration. Now I'm going to refresh, well save, change it to assisted, hit save and you should you should see alright done you should see now the router advertisements changing router advertisements changing changing see here managed address configuration to set this basically means now that in assisted this is by design um, uh, by design by PFSense that uh, now your clients are going to get a DHCP address and they're also going to configure where is that option and they're also going to configure themselves using uh, Slack um, which is uh, basically um, address auto configuration stateless address uh, address auto configuration so that's it guys I mean I just wanted to quickly show you how to add that option it's fairly easy to PFSense to have uh, a drop down that gives you stateless DHCP. I'll switch back to that since that's what I wanted to use. And that's it. And let's see if I can quickly show you another packet capture, a most more recent one since I changed it. Uh, router advertisement. There, it's not set again. Perfect. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did making it, and have a good day. Bye.